This is a simple spell for manifesting something you desire. When trying to manifest a desire, there are several things that you should keep in mind. Always respect the rule of harm none. What you are manifesting should not be something that belongs to another, and never ever should it be a person. You must always respect others' free will. Also, you should not be too narrow in your desire. For example, if you are manifesting money, you should not ask for $10, but rather for the money I need, at least $10. Spirit may send you more than you ask for, unless you yourself have limited it. Spirit will never overrule the limitations you place on yourself. Only you can remove those. Finally, when just starting out in magic, it may be advisable to start with small things. This is because magic will not work if you do not believe it will work. Because energy responds to thought and emotion. If your thought is, I manifest a Cadillac, but your emotion is, I could never do this, it won't work. By starting with simple things, you can build up in increments and be less likely to run into self-imposed limitations. For this spell, you will need a candle. White is good, but so is red. Something to light it with. Nothing will screw up your magical consciousness worse than forgetting the matches and having to stop and look for them in the middle of the working. A piece of paper. Something to write with. A burning dish. That is to say, a dish which is not going to be damaged by fire. Brass incense burners work very well, but many other things do too. Something to stir the fire with. A stick or a knife work well. Begin by releasing all tension and anxiety. Put yourself into a comfortable position. Now think about what you want to manifest. Concentrate on it and imagine clearly what it might be like to have it. Meditate on this for a while, keeping it clear in your mind. Now write down on your paper what it is you wish. You may wish to write it in a manner similar to the invocation given below. You may notice that we use the same one rather a lot. But when something works, why mess with it? Now light your candle. Again, release all tension before you start the actual spell. Focus for a few moments on the candle's flame. Now take your paper. You may want to fold it in half, but don't fold it up tightly, as this will retard the burning process. Imagine a ball of white light at the center of your chest. Affirm, behold, I connect myself to the powers of the universe. Imagine yourself rising up above your physical body and high above the earth. You may want to imagine looking down at the whole earth below you. Now affirm, there is one power in the universe and I am a perfect manifestation of that power. Open your eyes and take your paper. Affirm, there is one power in the universe and I am a perfect manifestation of that power. And as such I will, that even as this paper burns, so too shall this which I have written come to pass. May it come to me easily and with harm toward none. I will it, I draw it to me, I manifest it, I accept it, I receive it, I give thanks for it. By my will so mote it be. Now set the paper on fire. Imagine a ball of white light all around the paper as clear and bright as possible. Hold the paper as long as possible, then place it in the burning dish and let it burn until it is gone. Use a stick or a knife to lift it in the bowl so that it doesn't lay on just one side and prevent that side from burning. The speed and thoroughness with which the paper burns shall be an omen to you of how long it will take for the thing to come to you. If any part of the paper doesn't burn, take that piece and, repeating the affirmation over it, burn it again. Now clear and release as you know to do, and do not obsess over what you have manifested. Worrying about it excessively will tend to block it, so the less you can think about it, the better. Instead, simply know that you have done it successfully and wait for it to come. If you cannot be patient, tell yourself, I put myself into a position of love and trust, knowing that what I want shall come. And then imagine stepping over a half step to the left. What you have manifested may not come immediately, but it will come soon. These things take time, but you will find this a very useful spell. Remember, if you're just starting out, practice makes perfect.